Hey guys, let's get more news about Steelers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Browns RB Nick Chubb predicted to bolt for AFC North rival. Nick Chubb's future with the Cleveland Browns remains uncertain beyond this season, with speculation suggesting the Pittsburgh Steelers as a potential suitor. Chubb is entering the final year of his contract with the Browns. This offseason, the sides agreed to an incentive-heavy contract restructure, ensuring that Chubb will return next season. However, his pay will depend on when he returns to the field and how he performs. Chubb suffered a major knee injury in Week 2 against the Steelers last season. He had both his ACL and MCL repaired during two separate surgeries, the latest of which came in November. His timeline to return is unclear. Daniel Fisher of Gridiron Heroics sees the Steelers as a suitor for Chubb next offseason if he hits the open market as a free agent. Many Browns fans aren't going to like it, but Chubb could be waving a terrible towel around in 2025. Current Steelers running back Najee Harris didn't see his fifth-year option picked up this offseason, so he will be a free agent at the end of this year's season, leaving a void in the running back room, Fisher wrote. Pittsburgh does have an upcoming star running back in Jalen Warren, so there is a chance he will take over the Steelers' backfield this year. However, it seems like Harris will be out the door next season no matter what, and Chubb could be a great fit for the organization. Most Cleveland fans aren't ready to hear the idea of Chubb leaving the Browns, especially if the Steelers are his next stop. But the Browns have invested significantly in contracts for key players like Deshaun Watson, Miles Garrett, and Denzel Ward. They'll also have to work out long-term deals for up-and-comers like linebacker Jeremiah Owusu-Kormoa and cornerback Martin Emerson Jr. Chubb will turn 29 next season, and it's unknown what he'll look like after a significant knee injury, the second of his football career. However, Brown's general manager Andrew Barry has confidence in Chubb's superhuman abilities. First of all, nobody wants to bet against Batman, right? We call him Batman here. And Nick, he is a special player and a special human being, Barry said on May 2 during an appearance on the Pat McAfee show. He is doing well on his road to recovery. He still has a long way to go. Chubb has collected 6,511 yards and 48 touchdowns in 77 career games. He's averaging 84.6 yards per game and 5.3 yards per carry. Much is still unclear regarding Chubb's return timeline. However, he has been working relentlessly to return to the field and was recently seen running. Browns insider Mary Kay Cabot of Cleveland.com provided an update on Chubb's health prior to the first set of OTAs on May 21. Chubb won't be participating in OTAs or the minicamp from a team drill standpoint, but he's been around all offseason rehabbing the knee and providing inspiration to his teammates. He also spent some time during the off-season training at his high school, Cedartown in Georgia, and could be back and forth during OTAs. But he's been running for several weeks, and looks good. If all goes as planned, he'll test the twice-reconstructed left knee during training camp, and work toward a return to the field as soon as possible. The Browns have two more sets of OTAs. The phase ends with a mandatory veteran minicamp from June 11 to 13. Steelers QB Russell Wilson now has a huge incentive to play well in 2024. It's no surprise or secret that Russell Wilson loves the attention and spotlight. Well, he's got a great incentive to play well in 2024 now. Now on his third team in four seasons, Russell Wilson is damaged goods at this point. He's not nearly the player he was during his tenure with the Seattle Seahawks. In fact, the Denver Broncos decided they'd rather incur the largest dead cap hit in NFL history and pay Wilson nearly $40 million in 2024 to not play for them. Folks, if that doesn't tell you where Russell Wilson is as a QB in the NFL, I don't know what will. Well, somehow, the Pittsburgh Steelers did have an awful QB situation in 2023 that was several tiers worse than Russell Wilson. Amazingly, the QB is an upgrade over what Pittsburgh had. 
with recent news that the 2026 NFL draft is coming to Pittsburgh, Russell Wilson has a huge incentive to play well for the Steelers. Could you imagine for a second Russell Wilson walking out onto the NFL draft stage in Pittsburgh? As a resident of the Steel City, I can attest to just how devoted this place is to their Steelers. It's a football town through and through, and if Wilson came out onto the stage waving a terrible towel, the crowd would lose it. And since Wilson does love the spotlight and attention, how could he say no to something like that? The Pittsburgh Steelers signed Wilson to a one-year deal this offseason. If he plays well, you have to figure that both sides would have strong interest in doing a short-term deal, perhaps in the two-year range. It'd be the last big payday of Wilson's career, and the Steelers would buy some time to find a more long-term option. Russell Wilson craves attention, and being at the NFL draft in the Berg with thousands of Steelers fans cheering their heads off would be perfection. Steelers, Buccaneers connected in massive trade for former first-round pick. Tampa Bay Buccaneers edge defender Joe Tryonchoinka is not a bad football player, but the Buccaneers could look to trade him in the final year of his contract. Selected with the 32nd overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Washington product entered the league as a raw product with a tremendous ceiling. So far, Tryon Shoenka has yet to translate his athletic gifts into on-field production. While his tape possesses moments of gold, the pass rusher has only recorded 13 sacks through three seasons and Tampa Bay recently declined the fifth-year option on his rookie contract. With Yaya Diaby establishing himself as a pass-rushing force, the Buccaneers could look to trade Joe Tryonchoinka. At least, that's what Bleacher Report believes. According to the major media outlet, the Pittsburgh Steelers could send a 2025 fifth-round pick to Tampa Bay in exchange for the unpolished pass rusher. Needless to say, Joe Tryonchoinka will not challenge T.J. Watt for starting duties anytime soon. However, while Pittsburgh has two great edge defenders in Watt and Alex Highsmith, they could use some more depth. Putting Tryon Choinka in a limited role could bring out the best in the veteran, as he won't need to worry about run defense and could focus solely on getting after the quarterback. Pittsburgh's offense should improve with Russell Wilson replacing Kenny Pickett, but this team will still need to win games with offense. The Buccaneers, meanwhile, should be more than willing to trade Joe Tryon Choinka for a fifth-round pick. Even though Tryon Choinka's absence will impact their edge depth, Diaby is capable of being a star and Vita Vea and Kalija Kansi are more than capable of collapsing the pocket from the inside. Additionally, the Buccaneers have $8.5 million in cap space and could clear $2.1 million by trading him after June 1. Of course, the Steelers won't be the only teams interested in a Joe Tryonchoinka trade. There is no such thing as too many reliable pass rushers, and these four organizations could risk a late-round pick to see if they can unlock Tryon Choinka's potential. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Joe Tryon Choinka? Leave your opinion in the comments.